Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about decorators with lots of examples in Python programming language, so please stay tuned. So first of all, consider a very simple example. For example, suppose that we want to define a function which converts kilogram to gram. So as you can see, this is a very very simple example. So we want to define a function called kilogram to gram and it takes kilogram as input and it returns the kilogram times 1000. So for example, if I use this function for converting, for example, 5 kilogram to gram, and if I run the code, you can see the result is 5000. It means that 5 kilogram is 5000 grams. But for example, suppose that I pass minus 5 to this function. So if I run the code, you can see the result is minus 5000. As you can see, this is a stupid answer. So how can we fix it? Well, maybe you say, okay, we can use an if statement inside this function. But for now, suppose that you cannot change this function and no change is allowed in this function. But maybe you ask why we can't change this function. For example, suppose that this is a function of a package. As you can remember, you cannot change a function of a package. You can just use it. So how can we fix the problem without changing this function? For doing so, we want to use something called decorator. Decorator is a function which takes an ugly function and returns a beautiful function. And for example, this decorator adds more capability to that ugly function. So as I said, decorator is itself a function. So for example, I want to define a function called deco. It stands for decorator. And remember, the name is completely arbitrary. You can name whatever you want. And as I said, it takes an input parameter, which is ugly function and it returns a beautiful function. But what is this beautiful function? We should define it here. So we should define a beautiful function here. This beautiful function is going to take kilogram as input, but if kilogram was negative, it is going to return a message. For example, it is going to say invalid entry. But otherwise, it is going to use that old ugly function and it's going to pass kilogram to this ugly function and whatever is the output it is going to return it so as you can see our decorator takes an ugly function and it returns a beautiful function this beautiful function adds more capability and ability to this ugly function so for example i want to decorate or embellish this function so we should use the decorator which takes the old function and this decorator returns a beautiful function that for example we want to call it kilogram to gram again i mean we are updating this function so now kilogram to gram is a beautiful function that has been embellished by this decorator so here if i run the code you can see the result is invalid entry but if i pass positive 5 to this function you can see the result is 5000 but as you can see, this line is not beautiful itself. So let's comment on this line, and we want to use an, a smarter way. In order to do so, above this function, kilogram to gram, which you want to decorate, I type at sign, and I pass the decorator name, which we have created, which is deco. And now it is going to decorate this function with this decorator that we have defined above it. So if I run the code, you can see the result is 5000. And if I pass minus 5, and if I run the code, you can see the result is invalid entry. So we don't need this line anymore. So let's take another example. Example number 2. Suppose that we want to define a function called say hello, and it doesn't take any parameter. And in the output, it is going to print something. It is going to print hello. So for example, here, if I call the say hello function, and if I run the code, we can see the result is hello. But suppose that we want to print something like this. And again, suppose that we are not allowed to change this function. Maybe you ask why? Because for example, suppose that this is a function of another package. And as you remember, you cannot change a function of a package. So again, we should use a decorator in order to decorate and embellish this function. So let's call a function called again deco. And remember, we can name it whatever you want. It takes an ugly function and it is going to return a beautiful function. But what is this beautiful function? So let's define this beautiful function. Again, it doesn't take any parameter and it is going to print a started 
then it is going to run that ugly function and after running that function it is going to print ended so now if i want to embellish and decorate this function with that decorator i should type at sign and deco in order to embellish this function with that decorator so now if i run the code you can see it has printed started then hello and finally ended but let's learn a technical term some people call this beautiful function a wrapper and some people call it inner function but don't worry about the names you can see if i run the code the results are the same okay let's take another example and this example is more practical and useful in this example we want to use time package so we import time package and for example we want to define a function called f it doesn't take any parameter and this function is going to sleep for two seconds and finally it is going to print hello so as you can see if i call this function and if i run the code after two seconds it prints hello but for example we want to time this function and see how long does it take to run this function in order to do so we can use a decorator so first of all we want to define a function called deco which is our decorator it takes an input parameter which is our ugly function and it returns a beautiful function but what is this beautiful function let's define this beautiful function as you can see this beautiful function in this example doesn't require any input parameter so inside this beautiful function we should run our ugly function but before running this ugly function we should define a variable called the start time by using time that time in order to record the starting time and after running that ugly function again we want to define another function called end time and again we use time that time in order to time this moment and finally we want to print the duration of running this function which is end time minus start time and finally we want to embellish or let's say decorate this function with a decorator so above it we type at sign and deco which is our decorator so if i run the code you can see it prints hello and also because of that decoration it also prints the duration that took to run this function